Hello everybody, this is Gabbis Games, and welcome back to Crossout Let's Build. Today we're going to build a vehicle using the uh, Docker cabin. And we're going to do it a little bit more proper way this time, compared to the last one with the Docker, which was frame spam. Starting out very basically, uh, very basic, the Docker cabin, 8x4 frame, medium steering wheels. I want to use some fenders right here and here. Actually, I'm gonna push the cabin to forward. So the fenders are like so. So we only need to use two frame parts. So there we go. Put the darker back. And put some steering wheels right here, pushing them a little bit backwards. Uh, because this thing is a semi R build, I am gonna put some fan windows. Not sure if I got enough of them. Yeah, we got them. That's good. And then we got ourselves a rear door. Now we got two options. We can either put canvas roofs all over, so like this, or we use first fan ramps. This is this one is a little bit more prettier in my opinion, but takes up a little bit more parts. And after that, we can put up the top. For the top, I'm actually going to use a few grills because this is where you gonna put your weapons and you're gonna need of course need to protect them a little bit. You got quite a high amount of um, energy value for this thing. I'm gonna put two machine eagle machine guns on the right. So on the left side of the cabin. And then, of course a pair of machine guns up top. And we can just put them along the top line. Works as well. This case is a little bit of a long build, you can also just shorten it. Like so, if you just use it like this. Also works. Then you got a tiny little machine, but... Works as well. But if you're gonna go... Okay, I'm gonna do it a little bit more proper. This is the long version, I'm gonna now make a shorter version. So yeah, I have to delete everything for that. Start again out with the fenders in the rear, and I'm also gonna start out with the fan windows. The rear door, and the fan ramps. Um, but this time we're gonna use some mini fence sideboards in between. To top it off, gonna use a 6x4. With the docker on top. Like this. And then use simple four wheels. Very simple build. I don't think you can actually fit there. I don't think so. But just check it anyway. Nope, we can't, so... This is the medium sized version, you got yourself an 8 long top part. Uh, best simple part over here would actually probably be some EVA panels. But you got this extremely large space in the back, you, this is why it's an extremely good uh, drone carry, because you can carry two drones in the back, two sidekicks or two turrets. Like you can I actually think that uh, you can take two turrets, you can take four turrets if you had the energy requirements for it. And you would have to put a uh, gas generator up top here or in between somewhere. 
but it would definitely fit. In my case, I want to put a pair of auto cannons on here. I am going to use a grill 2 in the back to uh, have them connected. And as uh, so last part, I am going to use a weapon cooler. I'm going to put underneath this one vertically and connect two parts to them. Get this right. Not this. As well as my fuel barrel on the other side. Right behind the cabin. I think everything connected up. Okay. Um, so actually gonna put this thing a little bit off, so I can put some side armor next to it. Do want to protect that little thing? And we're done. Giving it some paint. Oh, wrong button. And now we're gonna go into a battle. Again, so auto cannons this time with a cooler, a little bit higher power scores, they got almost 3000. This is a broadsider because you cannot fire your uh, secondary gun forward. So, in my case, I'm just gonna set up right here. Far like this. Since I know there was a guy that was going for the cap, I'm gonna go back towards the cap. As you can guys see, it's actually your two. That guy has wasps, those are dangerous. Are three of them great? At least I eliminated the wasp threat before dying. That guy, if you got a group fight right here, and that wasp. Was not the elf wave before that? We would have had a problem. Very big problem. Oh, is that guy when he exposed Uber is still not dead? <laughs> and victory. How did we achieve victory actually? An enemy base captured. Nice. Now this thing is in comparison to the other one a little bit tougher in terms of health pool. But and it's of course with greater firepower because of the cooler. So better raw DP uh, damage per minute. Not same damage per second in bursts. But it has a higher damage output over time because of the cooler. You can keep on firing more. And as if you fire continuously and you do not have the issue of uh, not having a target for a moment and have to pull down. Anyways. I take the same chilling spot right here. Okay, let's move up a little bit this way. Gonna turn around my entire pro side because I took some pretty damn hits. Okay, that's free precision here. This is that guy. Oh, that is an ally. There we 
we go, got one. Oh great, they flipped me. Got the drone. Turn around the broad side. It's already dead. Oh well, GG. That was actually a pretty nice match. Here you can see the advantage of using broadside, the ability to turn around and uh, pose up an entire new slate of armor. This thing is pretty large and bulky. But, um, uh, yeah. Look like somebody recognized me in the chat. Kind of annoying that I lost my wheel. It makes that I cannot fire up from the right towards the right properly. Gotta get myself stable with the guns <laughs> as it works, but it's kind of annoying, anyways. There we go. So yeah, I do chat with guys that are Yeah, the guys are wondering what he was asking, like um where I, from which section I actually started playing this game. First of all, I have to explain how the exactly testing of Crossout is be, uh, going. Um, uh, of course, now we got our open beta. Everybody is free to join. Before that, we had closed beta. Closed beta, in order to enter, you had to uh, get a pack. Uh, one of those 20, 30 or higher dollar packs. You didn't have the 10 dollar pack then. Uh, but um, after that, um, you um, had before that. I mean, you had the beta test three. Beta test three. Uh, you uh, did not have uh, the packs um, would give access to your beta. Uh, back actually no, 
the, uh, back in Bethesda Street, there were no backs just yet. There were no backs. In order to enter, you solely had to uh, rely on a uh, entering queue. You had to enter the queue, and I actually waited a month or two before I could enter. But for me, it wasn't Battle Test 1, because you had basically had three Battle Tests, but, but, uh, Battle Test 1, 2, and 3, before entering closed beta and then open beta. Before that, you had Alpha, but in Alpha, you only had like a few hundred players, just a very, very minimal amount. Um, yeah, this thing um, has been going around for actually much longer than most people realize. Some people only realized Crossout existed when it entered normal closed beta. That is where most of the players actually started um, popping up in YouTube and stuff like that. But mainly, that's also mainly because you were not allowed to uh, stream anything about this game in the beta tests. You actually you you could get banned from. Um, uh, yeah. It's kind of a problem that you could not even just stream this game back then. Otherwise, I would probably would have done it back then as well. And that's where a few more players than I actually anticipated for. Oh, yeah, a friend of mine is actually in the battle. This guy, four exposed fuel barrels. I would make short work of a guy like this. Remember guys, do not ex get, just pop on a fuel barrel like this. Especially do not mount a fuel barrel, uh, I mean a gun on a fuel barrel. I mean they're gonna hit the fuel barrel and they're gonna just get a chain explosion just like that. One gun done. This is a little bit better, it still can be a little bit better, I guess the one fuel barrel on the back and uh, one underneath. He could have traded the one in the back, uh, 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 actually it also has uh, ammunition in the back. So it is a little bit exposed, but better than it used to be. I did actually get some decent experience from that. Not a. What is this? 12 4. <laughs> Got more experience for that one. And. Um, more than that, than I got for the uh, <laughs> other faction. That's kind of weird. Anyway, that's it for this build. Uh, again, you can make it longer, adding a second pair of wheels, make it shorter by cutting off this little part right here, but then you would have the issue of the six long frame. Not being able to use, uh, it's kind of awkward then, you would have a gap of two in the between there. But that's that. This thing is rather simple, uh, helpful, decent. It's not as good as a pickup cabin build or um, uh, as a frame builds. Um, but that's that. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys all later. Bye bye.